So today I want to walk through some last minute Nintendo Switch Cyber Monday deals because it is Cyber Monday at the time of filming this video. There's not a whole lot else going on in the gaming news space. And there's actually a number of notable discounts that if you missed out on some of the Black Friday sales, some of these are carrying into Cyber Monday. And additionally, some games that we didn't necessarily see discounted as part of Black Friday, or maybe not to this level, are now discounted as part of Cyber Monday. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification to join Sunburn Nation if you're new here. And with that, we're we are hopping over to IGN, which actually has a nice put together web page where you can see all of the various different sales and deals for Cyber Monday. And a number of these at the very top, you will notice we've talked about on the channel already. So we're not going to go over all of them in detail. But basically, these are Nintendo level promotions, which you can pretty much find at any retailer that supports it. You have Nintendo Switch, Super Smash Bros. OLED, Cyber Monday bundle. That's not really Cyber Monday. It's literally just their holiday season promotion. Anyway, it's three, four. 49 it is the oled edition nintendo switch bundled in with the game super smash bros which still retails for 60 bucks so not a bad deal if you don't already own that game and you're looking to get an oled switch model the other bundle that we have going on that's widely available is the mario kart 8 deluxe bundle which is tried and true nintendo has copy pasted this as many times as you could fathom and you do also get three lines of nintendo switch online membership i should mention that comes with both the oled bundle that we talked about earlier and this mario kart 8 deluxe bundle so three months of Nintendo Switch Online and a full $60 game with the respective price points of $349 for the OLED version and $299 for the standard Switch model. Um, now you have this hot deal Super Mario Bros. Wonder with a free $25 Dell gift card. I don't know who really shops at Dell, but they do have a number of uh, different things, games, computer parts, all of that kind of stuff there. And if you create an account, apparently if you want to buy anything else from their website, it might be a good time to pick up a amazing 2D platformer. I can't say enough good things about Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's honestly in my game of the year 2023 conversation, even though that is going to go to Tears of the Kingdom. This is still something that I had so much fun with this year that it is at the top of my list of recommended games for anybody to pick up. If you enjoy 2D platformers on any level whatsoever, it's a flawless masterpiece, in my opinion. And you can get $25 as a Dell gift card if you pick it up for its $60 regular retail price. Uh, scrolling on down, you have Sonic Frontiers. Now, we saw this discounted quite a bit more at other retailers. I believe we saw it down close to the $20, maybe $25 price point. But um, I will say that $39.99 is still not a bad deal. That's what it's going for at Walmart. It's Sonic's new direction in 3D games. And I think it's a really good step one for what the future will look like for Sonic games. And it's one that I had a lot of fun with. Also one that at the $40 price point, you could argue if you want to try to wait and see if it gets discounted more than that. Or maybe there are still some Black Friday sales going on where it is discounted more. So do your own research on that kind of stuff. I will have a few different websites linked in the description down below where you can go see the lowest prices on games, DekuDeals.com, which is a website we talked about in a previous video. Anyway, look for that. I'll, I'll have a link down below and you can see if these are still some of the lowest prices or if maybe there are some retailers selling it lower. Um, also at Walmart, all these games in this first group are right here right now. So Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, $41.99. Absolutely not a bad price for a timeless classic. Make sure you play Breath of the Wild before you play Tears of the Kingdom because I do think that Tears of the Kingdom effectively diminishes the reason to go through Breath of the Wild since it's in the same Hyrule. I, I don't know. I just feel like it would be more of a step backwards if you go Tears of the Kingdom, then Breath of the Wild. So make sure you play them in that order if at all possible. $41.99 at Walmart currently. Pokemon Scarlet for $39.99. This game has a ton of bugs and issues, but I will tell you uh, in, outside of the performance and how the game runs, it is a lot of fun. It's Pokemon, but in open world for the first time. So you can truly go any direction and back battle any level Pokemon at any point in time. There is definitely a recommended path and areas, and it kind of does a good job laying out which direction you should go if you don't want to get steamrolled, but it is kind of nice to have the option to go play Pokemon in open world, and you also have two DLC packs, one of which is already out, and we know that the Indigo Disc will be launching on December 14th, so good time to still get into Scarlet and Violet. Still have my gripes with the game's performance and how it looks and runs, but nonetheless, $40 is not a bad price considering that it is regularly sold for that full $60 retail. Fire Emblem Engage, uh, definitely look into this for Fire Emblem fans, more JRPG style fans, $37 right now at Walmart, not a bad price. Yoshi's Crafted World, another cutesy 2D platformer with Yoshi, of course, $39.99 as part of this Walmart Cyber Monday sale. Super Mario Maker 2, a game that is a ton of fun in my opinion. Literally the possibilities on this game for what you can create are endless. And what's great about 
that is that it has so much community support that you can go on and on playing levels till the end of time and probably uh, never run out of options they literally have such a large amount of unique courses ranging from extremely hard difficulties to more on the easy side i've even seen a few creators online advertise that they essentially have made mario games within super mario maker 2 so it's essentially like a super mario world type of experience where you can literally progress through eight worlds of a mario game that is all creator developed i mean it is really cool to see everything that has come out of this game and i think for any hardcore 2d mario fan you should pick this up you should own it as part of your nintendo switch collection and at 40 dollars it is not a bad value at all in my opinion Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 uh, that's one that I would just probably skip over unless you just really want to own uh, that particular game I, I it's one that never really appealed to me but for $29.99 it's definitely one of the better prices that it does get sold at Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope $29.99 while that would sound like a good discount uh, we actually saw this game getting sold for $15 and I think it's being sold as part of Cyber Monday for $15 somewhere um, not at Walmart so hold off on that particular price and go check Deku Deal com for the best price on sparks of hope because uh 29.99 is literally double what we saw over the black friday weekend and what i think is still going on for it right now mario strikers battle league 39.90 currently at walmart i think that's about the steepest discount we've seen on this game it's a little bit light on content it's also lacking some online modes for functionality that i really think are necessary like being able to play for v4 so every character is controlled individually by its own player but there's a lot of um, issues in my opinion with that particular stuff they've already finished the free content roadmap that they released with free additional characters and, and stages and things um, it's just a drip feed nintendo style sports games recently have been borderline unfinished at release and then they kind of like slowly update them but maybe now that all the updates are pushed out and it's 40 bucks instead of 60 it might be worth adding into your collection I know for a fact Sonic Superstars is being sold um, quite a bit lower than this. I think it's $35. It may be on Amazon, but definitely if you don't own this already, pick it up for 35 bucks. Sonic games are Sonic games. It's a 2D Sonic game. If you like those type of games, you will like this. It's got a fresh coat of paint. It's also really cool that it is multiplayer co-op locally. Uh, you cannot do it online, but you can play with up to four players locally in the room. Now, the one thing that I will tell you is with how fast Sonic moves throughout stages is it is kind of hard to keep all your characters on screen uh, so you will have these weird moments where the camera chooses to follow one player but not the other but from a gameplay perspective I've really enjoyed it going through single player primarily myself and I think that at the 50 or 60 dollar price point it's a little bit of a harder sell unless if you're just like a really hardcore Sonic fan like I am I was happy to pay 60 for it but it's definitely on the shorter side for a 60 dollar game so for that 35.99 price point that we're seeing it thrown around online as part of Cyber Monday I absolutely recommend it at that price uh, uh, don't miss out on that it'll probably go back to that 50 60 price point for a while until we get closer to christmas and talk about some more last minute christmas deals uh, but can't recommend sonic superstars enough for old school 2d platforming fans it is exactly what you would expect it to be but looks better than ever um, now we have switch cyber monday game deals at best buy um the Kawabunga Collection, so TMNT games, uh, you have all of the classic turtle games, a bunch of them at $24.99. Um, that is not the biggest discount ever because it looks like they normally sell it just for $29.99. But regardless, it's a discount on classic turtle games. If you want that, we'll kind of fly through some of these here. Um, this is okay, so Best Buy does have rabid sparks of hope for 15 bucks so disregard um that entire previous section from walmart for sparks of hope definitely buy it for literally half price at best buy um metal gear solid master collection volume one is 39.99 i can't remember what that game launched at it might have been a full 60 and if it is by all means that's a steal and you know what as i'm looking at this i might actually add that into my collection right now for 40 bucks because yeah it was a 60 dollars game at launch and um it's just super recent release so this is one that i think would definitely be a good pickup i will be buying this game on the switch myself because i like to have that flexibility to play those classic metal gear games in handheld mode or in docked mode so that's a great pickup at 40 bucks one that i did not know until we walked through this list together octopath traveler 2 39.99 dragon quest treasures 29.99 harvestella 29.99 a lot of these are discounted on the eShop as well but if you want to pick them up physically best buy's got some decent deals for cyber monday going on crisis core final fantasy 7 reunion 29.99 that's definitely one of the better prices we've seen on that game um, since it launched because it's also uh, another fairly recent release so 29.99 at best buy definitely a great opportunity to pick that up at a discount 
Just Dance 2024, $29.99. Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection for just $14.99. That's definitely a nice collection of Assassin's Creed games at a very discounted price. Spyro Reignited Trilogy for $23. It takes two for $29. Master Detective Archives Raincoat. I don't even know what that game is. $40. Bucks. Um, it takes two as one. I'll spend just a little bit of time on. I definitely think this is a lot of fun as a local couch co-op game. It did win Game of the Year 2021. And for $30, bucks, I definitely think that's a steal to add into your Switch collection. Borderlands. Lands 3 Ultimate Edition, a very recent release, 40 bucks right now at Best Buy as part of the Cyber Monday deal. Look into that if you're a fan of the Borderlands games. This is a great one that was really cool to see release on the Nintendo Switch. It really looks rather impressive whenever you consider the visual fidelity of the game, and it's more of a modern release on PS4, Xbox One generation consoles i think it's a really good one and at 40 bucks i think that's a steal uh rabbits party of the legend 14.99 right now uh chaos head noah chaos slash whatever this double pack is a chaos head and then uh chaos child double pack not sure what that game is 40 bucks tactics ogre reborn 30 bucks paw patrol world 20 dollars, and you have a number of other deals um i will have this website linked in the description down below as well in case you want to like go through and see all video game deals we'll just kind of gloss over these last couple here very quickly but you can see all of the discounts on screen at amazon tears of the kingdom 59 instead of its 69.99 now you might think that's a full price nintendo switch game uh, which you'd be right in most cases but tears of the kingdom was the first first party nintendo switch game that was released at a 70 dollar msrp so you're actually saving 10 off so if you don't own tears of the kingdom already go pick it up sonic superstars at amazon also 35 metal gear solid master collection volume one also 40 i'll probably end up picking that up at amazon then this is actually a really good deal i'm glad i decided to make this video today so 40 bucks for metal gear solid master collection volume one and you don't even have to leave your home to get it just ordered on Amazon. That is awesome. Mario Odyssey, 50 bucks. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charge, $34.99. Considering that's a very recent release, not a bad price at all. Uh, Super Bomberman R2, $20. Um, NBA 2K24 for $30. Just Dance 2024 Edition for $30 also. Um, and then you see these last few on screen. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, $54. We don't see that game go on sale very much, so maybe a good opportunity to look into that for JRPG fans. Uh, then you have Nintendo Switch Cyber Monday deals at GameStop. And you do have a uh, Super Mario Party for $30. That's definitely one of the lower rates we ever see that game sold at. So not a bad opportunity to pick it up. It's not my favorite Mario Party that's on the Switch, but it is still a fun game nonetheless, especially if you enjoy more of the motion style Mario Party mini games as it very heavily leans into that with the Joy-Cons. Then you have Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD for 30 bucks. This is a steal. Definitely pick this up as part of GameStop sale if you want to. I mean, it's one that I think every Legend of Zelda fan needs to go through at some point in time. It's literally the origin story for the entire franchise. So for 30 bucks, that is a great deal. Um, Bravely Default 2, also 30 bucks here. Then you have Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, two classic era remakes in the Pokemon franchise for 30 a piece. That is definitely one of the lowest prices we've seen those sold at so far. So I would add those into your collection if you have any nostalgia for Diamond and Pearl, but you want to play them again um, with much more enhanced visuals on the Switch. Definitely pick those up. This Rhythm Festival game for just $10. WarioWare, get it together uh, for $24.99. Um, and then they go through some different like memory cards, not to mention the eShop sale is still now live. Uh, you can pick up the Super Mario Bros. movie for $9.99 if anybody's still collecting physical media on the movies out there for Blu-ray. Not a bad price for that movie just to own it. Um, and then you have some different deals kind of listed here, but that's where we will call the video. I wanted to go over some last minute sales and deals for Cyber Monday with you all in case you're still out out there shopping for yourself or loved ones let me know at this point in the video in the comments down below whether or not you're picking up any new nintendo switch games for yourself or for someone else and what are you most excited about in terms of these deals and discounts and do you think overall the deals have been pretty good this year or a little bit more lackluster so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today i do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.